Now, from Augusta National Golf Club in Augusta, Georgia, EA Sports so proudly presents this step on the road to the Masters. Rich Lerner here at the 18th Tower alongside Frank Novello, 15 times a winner around the world. Uh, Frank, normally we would see you over at that special spot, Amen Quarter, 12T, but you're with me today. Take me back to your playing days. What ran through your mind as you stood over that opening tee shot? Uh, I, I couldn't feel my hands, really. I was so nervous to get to play there for the first time, and that was just a practice round. I think anybody that goes there for just a round of golf, you get the same feeling. You're like, am I really allowed to play? And then the course just comes to you. It, it really does. It flows beautifully. There's a lot more undulations than you even give it credit for. But, you know, hey, you're going to reference Amen Corner? So will I. Amen Corner technically is the second shot into 11, 12, and the tee shot at 13. Not the three holes. And that one maybe didn't get the kind of roll he was hoping for. He's in the fairway at one, but that was not the longest of drives. That one a little too far right, and the opening tee shot into the large bunker right of the fairway here at hole number one. sure what happened there. Long club selection. Good execution. Regardless, a lot of meat still on that bone. Not the best shot we've seen today, but when you consider that was set out of the fairway bunker, it certainly gets a pass grade.
Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. Two factors to consider here. First of all, breaking from left to right, and it's going to be pretty quick back down this hill. Oh, my goodness, that is not fair at all. What a putt from that distance. That did everything but go in the hole. Okay, that's finished off for a pump. You always start the round with such high hope, with optimism, and it can be gone in a blink. That is a double boat to hear at number one. Now to the second, 575-yard par five down the hill here at Augusta National. One of two fives on this first nine. This is a place where you can make something happen and jumpstart your round. Couldn't quite get the ridge. It's into that lone bunker at the top of the hill. Okay, that won't quite get over the crest of that hill and get the run out, but it is safely in the fairway. We're at hole number two. Want to make sure you catch this cleanly. There's a second to the par five. That will not be an eagle putt, far from it. It's into the left front bunker here at the second. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five.
That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Really need a birdie right now. Well, this one out of the bunker, that is a positive development, but not on the green. It's in the short grass. Third shot coming up now from the bunker. Yeah, the green just didn't want to hold that one. That'll run off into the short grass. And that's not exactly ideal. Far from a tapping for his par. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. So that could likely calm the nerves after the rocky opening hole. It's a par here at the second. In a little bit of a fight so far, three over par.
Onward now to the classic 350-yard par four third hole here at Augusta National. That's probably to hit short of the four fairway bunkers and then have a full shot into this green, which slopes right to left. Is starting up the right side. Bulls back in the fairway. I guess it's better to be lucky than good. Good shot coming off bogey at the second. That's going to be in the fairway. Just over 90 yards, all that's left here for his second. Uh, that's a bit of a head turner, really. That was a green light situation from that distance and uh, far from the best shot I've seen today. That is not good, but uh, the good news, you get to do it again. Now, considering that shot was for par, it comes up way short, looking down the barrel of a double bogey. Substantial movement on this putt right to left, and it's from distance, so this one not just about speed, but line as well.
fairly long 25-foot putt here. Nope. That at least was a good putt. It could have very well gone in, but it misses by less than a foot. Well, he came into this hole at even par, but with the double, he walks off at two over. Rough day so far. Four over par on the round. Now to the fourth, an excellent par three. This requires a solid, pure strike. You can't fake it on this hole, and you're happy to walk away with three. just really hard to get a three with the stop here at the fourth and that will roll off the back of the green And that, not going to get there. It is going to wind up in that right front bunker here at four. It's a slow start, and you can blame it on the short game. Looking to splash this softly onto the green.
Well, this one out of the bunker, that is a positive development, but not on the green. It's in the short grass. off on him. That'll happen sometimes coming out of the bunker, and that scoots right on by. Ooh, good speed there. That'll leave just a couple of feet. That's not too bad. Should give him a chance to walk away with double. That's the best shot he's hit on this hole so far, but that's maybe not saying a whole lot. In for double, and it's a six over start to just the first four holes. Three over for the day. We move now to hole number five, Magnolia, a par four at a stout 495 yards. Avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must, but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range no small feat. That's into the first of the two bunkers left on this fifth hole. And that is going to be a very steep exit from there. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. And this one going to nestle itself into the second cut. Missed the fairway in the fairway bunker now. 
It's not all gloom and doom though. Lip isn't too high. A good swing here still shouldn't be a problem. Now, coming out of the bunker, just couldn't get enough club head on the ball and comes up well short. About 80 yards left, Frank. It is a game of touch. It is evidence right there when your touch is out. What a difference it makes. That ball went a long way past. This is a 13-footer. Oh, good putt right there. That has a little more break to it than most people realize, but he gets it to go for his par. They wanted seven over par already on the round. We make our way now to the 180 yard par 3 6, second par 3 on the first nine here at Augusta. Elevated tee looks down on a two tiered undulating green that will absolutely test you. Okay, that's going to end up right in the middle of the green. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass.
Going to have to take pretty much a full swing at this one with the putter because this one is into the hill and the hole is cut back. This one measures out to 15 feet. the cruelest thing about this game rich i mean it's just now it's another shot On to hole number seven. It is a par four at an even 450 yards in length. Anything into the pine trees running the length of the fairway can oftentimes lead to a bogey or worse with the three front bunkers preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. That one going to split the middle, maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. Second shot, good look at the green. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in a bunker. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Nota the third. 157 yards left, pinned just on the front edge. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, oh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. Okay, that should be inside of 10 feet, not too bad. 
from about eight feet. And to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole, this for birdie. Now, oh, that's a good opportunity, unfulfilled. Oh my goodness. So that'll be a par, and we will keep him at plus four on the day. Safe to say Augusta National may not be as simple as it looks when you watch on TV. That is in for double bogey. So where the second hole, the par five, is considerably downhill, the eighth is up the hill. You can certainly make an eagle here, but it requires two good shots and maybe a little luck. If you play it off the right, it'll kick down and leave you within eagle range. Nope, that's going to get into the bunker right here at eight, and that is not going to be one that you can get a lot of club on. That one up the right side. Nice to hear something positive. That's the sound of the ball coming off the middle of the face as opposed to another bogey. No one wants to hear that all day long. Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Second shot upcoming, down to Noda. Menacing bunker up the right side. If you find your ball in here, you have no option but to lay out. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sand takes away any chance of going for the green in two, but this is a nice recovery here to get back on track from the fairway. Let's go to Noda. Ball came up in the right half of this fairway, which cuts off the angle, so it's going to require a precise effort to get it tight. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. That'll be from about 90 yards away.
In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that a do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just oh, that's very poor from that range. A look here at birdie. And there's no space for a lapse in concentration here. Perhaps a little bit further away than we would have liked, but a two-part would be a very good result. Thirteen feet away. Mm, good job to dead it right by the hole, but he could not get it to go in. Okay, maybe a glimmer of hope, and then has been a troublesome front side as that is safely in for a par. So that's par, and he'll remain four over par. Par 4 ninth is intriguing here at Augusta National. This is where you can see just how hilly the golf course is. It may not show up on television that way, but you can certainly feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. This is going to be a beautiful draw down the hill into the big clearing. And it'll set up a good look at this ninth green. Now, got to manage the pine straw here with his second. That's a good shot, and more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. From the fairway, we check in with Noda. Well, from this section of the fairway, you have an opportunity to get the ball close to the back third of this green. It's going to require some good calculations on yardage and proper execution to get the ball to sit on the right plateau.
And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Now this for birdie. And a really tricky look here. Tough side hill putt. He's got to push it out to the right and just let it drift its way back to the hole. Oh, that one led perfectly. It is a birdie here at the ninth. And that will make this a three over 39 on this front side. Good putt, it's in for par here at the ninth. And that's gonna put an end to what's been a largely disappointing first nine. Second nine begins with a downhill 495 yard par four featuring a 60 yard long center bunker short of the green. The first hole until 1935, number 10 traditionally plays harder than any other hole here at Augusta National. Yeah, that's a beautiful tee shot. Now watch this go. Oh, it's going to trundle right on down the slope. 